everyone. It's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Friday to everybody. So I do have a few projects that I've been working on. Um, and um, if you guys remember when I shared this box right here, I did not have a card inside yet to put in here. And so I'm going to share that with you guys. And then uh, just some ways to package little sweet treats for your pen pals, um, your swaps. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. First of all, I made this shaker uh, postcard. Um, I decided that I kind of like just um, doing postcards inside the that decorative box that I just shared with you guys and so I tried to create a postcard but it's a shaker and um, I use tool to keep the little bits inside and um, I basically cut out this shape it's sort of like a top note shape it's one of my nesting dies that I decided to play with um, that I think my friend Mimi had picked this up for me. Hey girl, um, thank you so much for this. Uh, anyway, this is the We Are Memory Keepers nesting dies. It comes with the nine dies and I used, I think it was one of the larger ones, if not the largest, um, to create the frame and um, and then, like I said, I used the tool to create the shaker. And this is uh, one of the Alina cuddle dies um, to make the bow. And I also used an embossing folder right here, which is one of my new embossing folders that I wanted to play with as well, which is this one right here from LDRS Creative. It's the Majestic folder, and it just has this very pretty ornate design on it and that's what I did to the bluish green paper that is um, underneath and very simple now the these die cuts here are let's see this one is from the the main squeeze crepe paper if you guys remember this one right here and I just took one of the hearts um, this one is from the new crepe paper, which is La La Love, this ribbon, prize ribbon here. And then this one is also from the La La Love, which is a dimensional um, heart sticker. And then this is also from um, this one right here, the older crepe paper. And then I didn't have a postcard stamp. So what I ended up doing was using my recipe card. And because um, I had this Bow Bunny recipe card that I had gone from Tuesday morning. And all I did was I tried not to stamp the words. Um, although some of it still got on here. And um, just to cover it up, I ended up just using my other postage stamps. This one is from my BFF Erica. Hey girl, <laughs> thank you for my stamp. I finally used it. And I used, uh, let's see, the Keep Me Posted one right here. And what else? I think that's it. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's it from this stamp set. And then um, this one was another stamp set that I think I purchased this one, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a Bow Bunny stamp set. And I used this one here and um, this one and this one right here, um, which looks like this. So I just kind of tried to make my own little um, postcard <laughs> and I think that came out cute and um, I put one of the stamps um, which is from here because I mean it's only appropriate to put a stamp there right so um, and again this is the main squeeze from crepe paper so yeah that is my card so that's my first share I wanted to just package some treats because I had bought some candy um, and so I was playing around with my favorite doily die right now um, that I have been, yeah, I've been just playing around with it. And 
I made this little treat holder to hold my Dove chocolate. Isn't that cute? And um, I basically just used the, um, when I cut out the frame right here, I basically just used the inner part. I think this is the inner part, yeah. That popped out. And so um, I just used that as a little um, treat. Um, what do you call it? Just for packaging. And then I was playing with my doily, my doily dies, and I was just creating some, I wanted to make some prize ribbon, and I decided instead of making a rosette um, for the, you know, this part right here of the prize ribbon, I would just use this um, doily die, which I know some of you guys are having a hard time finding this die, and I am so sorry, but I had picked this up from the expo, and um, and it is, an, a, I love it, it's a great size doily by Couture Creations, which I think it's in the UK. I think they're based in the UK. That's why it's kind of hard to find here. Um, I did see some on Amazon, but it's a little bit different. And um, anyway, I'm sure if you keep looking, you'll eventually find it. I think Walmart sold it at one point um, on walmart.com. But anyway, that is the die. That's the doily die that I used um, to create this. And then for the arrow, I used, um, I just whipped out all of my Valentine's Day, um, you know, dies and stamps. I used this one for the arrow. And you'll see later, I used this one as well. Um, this is uh, a Lena Cuddle um, die that I did actually cut out a little bit but um, that is the banner die right here and I'm um, just to make it smaller because it's a little too um, wide so I just cut off the little hearts at the edge but I still wanted that um, stitched look so yeah I was just playing around with this and so I decided you know instead of putting the um, little arrow I would just put the chocolates and look how cute really simple but adorable right and then I just made this little topper now this if you can if you can see here is that same note um, top note die right here um, but I used a smaller version and I turned it this way and then I just folded it and then I cut this part off I hope I'm in frame here um, let me just zoom out a little bit because I wasn't sure if I was in frame. Um, and that's what I used here. I just folded it over, cut the edge off here because it was sticking out. And then this handle is, um, where did I get that one? Let me see. It's called a vintage topper hardware handle. And I just used this part right here. And... Um, yeah, they come out so cute. Just keep in mind with some of these intricate dies, especially this doily die right here, um, sometimes it's difficult to remove from the, especially if you're using thin, thinner paper, it's hard to remove. Um, so um, I would use wax paper. Just a tip. You can use um, just, you know, from the grocery store wax paper and just put that on top of your paper and then um or actually you would put your die put your this just sandwich this between your paper and your die so your die this and then your paper so that it doesn't stick and you can easily remove it and that seems to work for me so um, just a tip there. I see I you can see I still have a little bit enough wax paper there because I used it for this so um, there's that and This little um, label here. I had been playing with it, too and um, It's this one right here the birthday hugs tag die and stamp set um, and I did stamp out a few of these and then use the die to cut it out 
And this one says sweet because I'm giving some sweet treats, right? And I think it comes out really cute. And then um, I had to just cut out a bunch of these doily. Um, I thought I would just do it since, you know, um, I can just share. And again, you can see that I have the topper there. You can put bling here to cover the holes. Um, you know, just add a ribbon. I haven't embellished it yet because I'm not sure what to do here yet. Um, but that's just another idea. And then um, here's another one that I was playing with. And this one is very similar to the this one here that I created. But instead of the doily, I just used another Alina Craft die, which is this one right here. Um, so I was just trying to, you know, cut the dies. Um, I mean, you know, use them so that I know that they're working fine, which you should always do when you buy new dies. And um, this for this one here, though, you know, because it creates a frame, it, it does all of the insides pop out because it's a frame. So but I didn't want the inside to pop out. I wanted to keep it in there. Um, and just kind of, you know, I want it to be like a little heart doily. So um, I just put double sided tape to keep this. See how that is to keep that together with the inner heart. So that's all I did. And isn't this cute? It's just so cute and dainty and shabby. <laughs> I just love this paper. So I made a few of those to gift to my recipient. And, you know, this, these two will go inside the box along with this. And then um, I can package this separately. And then um, I was just playing around some more. So let me just show you what I decided to do with some of them. I also had these kisses. And I thought, you know, wouldn't that be cute to just kind of put, you know, on a tag. <laughs> I don't know why um, I thought of that, but um, but I just layered um, some hearts here. And these hearts are actually from um, that same die set that I showed you, which is this one right here, which is, it's, this is the Memento cut and emboss. I, gosh, I've had this for a really long time. I don't remember where I got it. I think it was from maybe Tuesday morning. Um, uh, Michaels might carry them or they did carry it at one point, I think. But anyway, um, again, I used, oh, the hearts that pop out because this is kind of two frames here. Um, the hearts that popped out, I just put here. And then I use that Alina die again. Um, another heart, one of my nesting heart dies from, um, I think it's from Amazon. It's the White Lotus heart 10 piece die here. This one I used um, the second or the third to the smallest. I put a little kiss there for you. And I just put some tulle and ribbon. Here's another one. And this one says kiss because you got a little kiss there. Isn't that cute? Just use some twine. I was just playing around, you guys. And used uh, I made a bunch of these rosettes um, around October time. Here's another one. This one says kisses. So I should actually put two because it says kisses. Um, two chocolates. <laughs> this one I just put a jump ring and I, again... Um, I stamped and I did a little embossing, but it didn't quite emboss all the way. But that's okay. Just added a little shine to it, a little sparkle to it. And just some ways that you can gift, you know, little chocolates. Here I just put it in the middle of this uh, prize ribbon. So you can just, you know, package that. This is very dimensional though, so I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to package it because this is <laughs> it's pretty thick versus this one right here see so um yeah 
you need one of those goodie bags with gussets so those are my projects guys and I'm just kind of keeping it in here for now um, till I'm ready to like give these out these I might not mail out because it's a little hard to like I said it's two-dimensional because of the kisses but they're so pretty I couldn't help it so that is my project share for today I hope you guys liked it and um, um, I'll be back with some more um, projects for you guys uh, and a tutorial and because I do have um, some new dice that came in again from um, overseas so um, yeah I'll show you guys that in a little bit okay thanks so much for watching bye